ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਅਤੇ ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟ ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਇਸ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਬਜੈਕਟ ਕੰਪਿਊਟਰ ਸਾਇੰਸ ਕਲਾਸ 11 ਲੈਸਨ ਨੰਬਰ 3 ਡਾਟਾ ਟਾਈਪ ਆਪਰੇਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਐਕਸਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਪਾਇਥਨ ਪਾਰਟ ਦਾ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਇਸ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹੋਏ ਹਾਂ ਸੋ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਪਾਰਟ ਦੇ ਮਲਟੀਪਲ ਚੁਆਇਸ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਬਾਰੇ ਪੜਾਂਗੇ ਜੀ ਜਿਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਹੈ ਜੀ which of the following program element store values in memory and the options are variable command operator and last one is all of the above and the right answer is variable program element store values in memory second question is which of the following is not a standard numeric data type in python and the options are integer floating boolean and the last one is complex and the right answer is floating is not a standard numeric data type in python third one is which of the following type represent a mapping type in python and the options are list dictionary tuple and the last one is set and the right answer is dictionary types represent a mapping type in python and the fourth question is in python dash the keyword is used to indicate a null value or no value and the options are nothing null zero and the last one is none and the right answer is in python none keyword is used to indicate a null value or no value and the fifth one is in python dash functions are used to indicate true or false values and the options are bool boolean boolean and the last one is none and the right answer is in python bool functions are used to indicate true or false values and sixth one is to create a list in python we write dash data item in and the options are parentheses curly bracket square bracket and the last one is angular bracket and the right answer is to create a list in python we write data item in square brackets and the seventh one is in python dash is used to indicate unicode values and the options are string tuple list and the last one is set and the right answer is in python string is used to indicate unicode values and the eighth one is types are types whose values can be changed even after they are created and the options are mutable immutable none and the last one is mapping and the right answer is mutable types are the types whose values can be changed even after they are created and the next one is which of the following is not an arithmetic operator in python and the options are single forward slash double forward slash double asterisk and the last one is plus plus sign and the right answer is plus plus is not an arithmetic operator in python and the tenth one is which of the following function is used for type conversion and the options are inert float string and the last one is all of the above and the right answer is all of the above function is used for type conversion so hum as is part of the right true or false for the following statement bare padange this is first question hai ji the simple percentage represent the modulus operator which is used to get the remainder after dividing two number true second one is relational operator return true or false after comparison true third one is operator are special symbols which are used to perform simple operation on operand true fourth one is an ordered collection of values separated by commas in square bracket is called a set false fifth one is sequence is an ordered collection of data item of the same or different types true so hum as is part the short answer type question bare padange jis pe first question hai ji what are the floating point number give examples and the answer is floating point numbers are numbers that have a decimal point these number represent real values such as measurement division etc the float type is known as float in python example include 3.14 0.5 
minus 7.25 etc. And second question is what do you know about python boolean data type? And the answer is boolean data type represent only two values true and false in python. This type is used in logical or comparative test. Boolean values are obtained through the bool keyword. This is very important for testing conditions or situation. And third question is what are sequence data type in python? Write their names. And the answer is sequence data type are those that store data in a sequential manner. In this data is accessed through index. The major sequence types in python are string, list, tuple and range. These are used in loops, indexing and slicing. And the fourth question is explain operand with suitable examples. And the answer is operand are the element or values on which operator work. For example, 5 plus 3 has 5 and 3 operand and plus is the operator. They are used in expression. So operand can be variable, numbers or strings. The fifth question is what are arithmetic operator give examples and the answer is arithmetic operators are symbol used for mathematical calculations the main arithmetic operator in python are addition subtraction multiplication division remainder exponential and floor division so they are used on numbers and the sixth question is what is an expression and the answer is an expression is a combination that produces a value or result it can include operand operator and variables for example a plus b into 2 is an op is an expression every expression in python has some output so who is this part the long answer type question wale padange ji this is first question hai what do you mean by data type draw a chart showing the common standard data type used in python and the answer is data type are categories that represent the type of any variable or value they determine what kind of data is being stored and what operation can be performed on it there are many type of data type used in python which are shown in the chart below so in the table left side class and right side data type mentioned so the first one is numeric and its data types are inert float complex second one is sequence and its data types are string list tuple and range and third one is mapping and its data type is dictionary fourth one is set and its data types are set frozen set and fifth one is boolean and its data type is bool and next one is binary and its data types are byte byte array memory view and the next one is null type and its data types are none type so proper understanding of these data types is very important in writing and running python code so second question is what is the difference between mutable and immutable types and the answer is Mutable data types are those which can be changed, that is, the internal value can be modified even after being created. For example, list, dictionary and set are mutable, like adding or removing a new item from a list can be done easily. On the other hand, immutable data types are those which cannot be changed once created, like inert float string tuple etc if you try to change their values a new variable is created they are generally used to store static data this difference is very important to remember while writing programs and the third question is what are operators describe any two types of operator used in python and the answer is Operators are special symbols or group of symbols that are used to perform some operation on variables or values. There are many type of operator in Python such as arithmetic, assignment, logical, comparison, bitwise, etc. 
for example arithmetic operator plus minus asterisk forward slash etc used to perform mathematical operation on number for example a plus b which add to number on the other hand comparison operator such as equal to not equal to greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to compare any two values and return true or false values these operator are used to make conditions or decision in program so in the table first of all we discuss about arithmetic operator so the first one is addition operator second one is subtraction operator third one is multiplication operator fourth one is division operator fifth one is floor division operator next one is remainder or modulus operator and the last one is power operator and the next one is comparison operator so the first one is equal to operator so equal to operator the way to decker dono number barabar ni is the result kya aega true so comparison operator which a hamesha yada result a jana true aega jana false aega this way to get a panja number a jekar panja the barabar aega matla eki a true a j tene equal to 5 in the is a matla jeta tene a panja barabar nengi a pero skes way to the result a false ana zi second one a zi not equal to so jimek to see example with equal to 5 not equal to 3 मतलब पांच जो तीन के बराबर नहीं है इस करके रिजल्ट किया गया ट्रू मतलब सही है नेक्स्ट वन है जी ग्रेटर देन तो ग्रेटर देन साइन सा शो करता है जो पांच है वो ग्रेटर देन 3 यानी ये कंडीशन की होगी ट्रू क्योंकि पांच तीन नलो होता है जेकर ये नंबर आगे पीछे होते जिमें तीन ग्रेटर देन 5 तो फिर इस केस में जो रिजल्ट फॉल्स होना सी नेक्स्ट है जी लेस देन सो लेस देन दे व्हिच एग्जांपल में शो कर रहा है 5 less than 3 so key punch it out in a little short time no it's got is the result here false was to bother the greater than or equal to this way though condition a check on the enemy john the number of greater than the other yeah brother on it the way so it's a silly care the five greater than or equal to five the punch a punch in a little greater than in a proper opera is correct is correct is the result here a true लास्ट सर्कल एग्जांपल है जी लेस देन और इक्वल टू मतलब जहां ते जेड़ा खप्पे पासे वाला नंबर है वो सज्जे पासे वाले नंबर नलो जहां ते छोटा होना चाहिए या बराबर होना चाहिए तो इस केस में 3 लेस देन और इक्वल टू 5 सो 3 5 के बराबर ते नहीं है पर उस तो छोटा इस करके इस केस में चीज का रिजल्ट क्या आएगा ट्रू सो कंपैरिजन ऑपरेटर विच हमेशा का रिजल्ट है वो ट्रू या फॉल्स विच ही रिटर्न होता तो बच्चे मैंने उम्मीद है कि तुम्हें ये वीडियो बढ़िया लगी होएगी और तुम सारे क्वेश्चन नोट कर लिए होंगे सो इस तरह के नाल जेकर तुम मेरी यहां और भी वीडियो दी नोटिफिकेशन प्राप्त करना चाहते हो तो इस चैनल को लाइक और इस वीडियो को शेयर करना ना भूलो धन्यवाद